Pam Candia, Managing Director of the Sherfoot Effect Community Interest Company. The reason we decided to do a project on resilience um, in the Erasmus Plus program is because increasingly our work with communities and individuals and organizations about climate change has inevitably led to looking to build resilience in individuals to deal with the, the angst around facing climate change um, and to help communities build resilience in the face of the impacts to their communities about climate change. The Compass of Resilience tool was the inspiration for this project and it looks at four different aspects of a community and looks at whether or not a community is strong in these different aspects. What really struck me about that is its similarity to a tool used in coaching for individual resilience called the Wheel of Life, where you divide the wheel into segments and look at your relative satisfaction about each of those aspects of your life. Measuring where you're at is important, but knowing where you're going to go is even more important. The tools that we pulled together with the help of all of our project partners really give us a, a good list of things that we can use in any circumstance, whether we're looking at individual resilience or community resilience, or looking at a specific place in terms of its resilience. This list of tools will help give people imagination, creativity, and, and group ideas where they're working together as a community, rather than one person's idea being dragged forward. All of these tools allow people to work together to figure out where best to go for their community. One of the individual resilience tools that I was surprised that I liked so much was one about listening to music and the various activities that we were asked to do after listening to the music. I found this to be incredibly relaxing, incredibly creative, and it really sparked my imagination to think about what could be instead of what is.